faced them so early in the season that Andre was the guy who was primarily on Donovan for most of those possessions. I mean, is that something that, that you're going to take on or guarding Donovan for the Georgia possession? Yeah, I'm used to it. I'm used to this. Yeah, I ain't met play LP yet. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Yes, back in 2018, before the first round matchup against the Utah Jazz, Paul George gave himself the nickname Playoff P, with the intentions of him performing at a high level in the playoffs. However, it has not been the case at all, and he hasn't lived up to any expectations. That leads to the question that everyone is asking themselves right now. Why is Paul George so trash in the playoffs? What's good, YouTube? Today I'm back with another video, and today I'm going to be talking about Paul George, and why he hasn't performed at all in the playoffs. So let's get to it. As you guys know, Paul George has been struggling tremendously in this first round series against the Dallas Mavericks. However, this has been a trend for the past few years even with the Indiana Pacers. The main reason that he struggles in the playoffs is because he disappears in the big moments, when it matters the most. His confidence level seems to be low in this setting, which I don't understand why because he's proved that he's capable of averaging over 25 points per game in the regular season. At times, George can look like a top 5 player in the league but then other times he can disappear when he matters the most. In 80 playoff games, George has 32 games in which he scored 15 points or fewer. In 2018, when the Thunder needed him to live up to his self-created alter ego, he was outplayed by Joe Ingles and put up a horrible 5 points in the elimination game in the same series. In the days with the Pacers, he went toe-to-toe -to -toe with LeBron James, but again when it mattered the most, he did not deliver. In Game 6 of the 2012 Eastern Conference Semifinals, George came out short with an 11 point showing. The following year in Game 7 of the Instant Conference Finals, George scored just 7 points as the Pacers were defeated by 23 points. At that rate, that was the biggest game of his career, but he just wasn't ready for that moment. You guys get the point, George is just not confident in playoff games. It's not only his scoring, but his defense has also been mediocre. In an interview a couple of days ago, George said that he prides himself in both ends of the floor, and that he's just not a quote, scorer. However, opponents are taking advantage of his poor defense. George looks so sloppy on the floor without any motor. Maybe something is happening behind the scenes, but this is not the Paul George we see in the regular season. You guys may think that the gruesome leg injury that he suffered with Team USA affected his playing, but no it hasn't. At least that specific injury hasn't. Which leads to my second point. The second reasoning has to be his shoulders. He's had not one but two surgeries in total on his shoulders, with one in each side. That's why he's ice packing his shoulders in press conferences. Something has to be wrong because this Paul George looks like one of the worst players in the league. In this math series, George has only been averaging 14.8 points per game, with his last 4 games being 14 or less. Kawhi Leonard is literally the only player showing up to play in this Clippers team, which questions his decision of joining the Clippers in the first place instead of staying in Toronto. The last thing that's haunting Paul George in the playoffs is that he's over dribbling and overshooting. He has to stop bringing the ball up the court and get to his spot. Doing too much is really a big issue. If you can do anything, just don't play. Rivers is just being sloppy and not sitting George down in the bench, specifically in the big moments, which will lead to George still underperforming. Put someone else as hunger to win than George because right now he certainly isn't. He also needs to stop talking too much on social media and just do his thing on the court. Let his game do the talking. George is just distracted at this point. Like I said, George has exhibited qualities of a superstar and he has the skill set to do so, but we're still waiting for him to blossom into that role. When George's career is over, there's no question that he will be a Hall of Famer, but due to him being so talented, it seems as if the accolades do not tell the full story about his career and what he can be. A signature playoff run will cement his legacy among the greats in his era. And that was the video. What do you guys think of Playoff P? Are the Clippers winning the series against the Mavericks? Let me hear that sound in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and click the bell to get notified of my future videos. I hope everyone has a great day. Peace out.